From the National Newsroom of the Canadian Press, I'm Naira Ahmed. The Public Health Agency of Canada says a third person in Ontario has died in a listeria outbreak connected to plant-based milks. The agency says there are now 20 confirmed cases of listeriosis connected to great value and silk plant-based milks. The cases are in Ontario, Quebec, Nova Scotia and Alberta. The affected products include silk brand almond milk, coconut milk, almond coconut milk and oat milk, as well as great value brand almond milk, all with best before dates up to and including October 4th. Last week, the Canadian Food Inspection Agency confirmed that the listeria contamination originated on a dedicated production line at Joe Rickey, a third-party beverage packaging facility in Pickering, Ontario, used by manufacturer Danone Canada. Nicole Ireland, The Canadian Press, Toronto. Canada's Chief Human Rights Commissioner has resigned following an investigation about comments he previously made about Israel. A law firm found there was no evidence to show Birju Detani has anti-Semitic beliefs or any biases toward Jews or Israelis. However, the firm found his explanation for not including a different name he had used on social media on his commissioner application and background check lacks credibility. Justice Minister Arif Arani told Detani at the end of July the results of the investigation raised serious concerns about his candor during the appointment process. In Alberta now, people who live in Jasper can begin returning on Friday after wildfires forced some 5,000 residents to flee the Rocky Mountain tourist town last month. Jasper Mayor Richard Ireland says the re-entry marks a positive milestone, but residents should prepare to adapt to a new normal. Our residents will be looking for familiar faces in familiar places. Some of that familiarity is gone. A Jasper incident commander says residents cannot count on spending their first night in the town where a wildfire destroyed one-third of the town's buildings last month. And the Canadian Broadcasting Corporation paid $18.4 million in bonuses this year after hundreds of jobs at the public broadcaster were eliminated. Documents obtained through access to information laws show CBC paid out the $18 million to nearly 1,200 employees. More than $3.3 million was paid to 45 executives. That means those executives got an average bonus of over $73,000. According to Statistics Canada, that is more than the median Canadian family made in 2022 after taxes. The board approved the bonuses in June but has refused to disclose how much was paid out, even though members of parliament have been asking for the figure since last December. That's when CBC announced it would be laying off employees to help balance its budget. The public broadcaster calls the bonuses performance pay that count towards some employees' total compensation as part of contracts that promise payouts when certain company goals are met. Mickey Judich, The Canadian Press, Ottawa. This is The Canadian Press. In sports, the Toronto Blue Jays are on the road tonight as they start a three-game series with the Los Angeles Angels. Toronto is coming off a strange split of a six-game homestand in which the Jays took two of three against Baltimore before dropping a series to the lowly Oakland Athletics. Meanwhile, Ottawa's Gabriela Dabrowski looks to continue her impressive tennis season tonight in the doubles final at the National Bank Open in Toronto. And Canadian swimming gold medalist Summer McIntosh is back at home after helping carry the Maple Leaf in the closing ceremony at the Paris Olympics. She landed at Toronto's Pearson Airport this afternoon, saying she's grateful for all the fans cheering for her across the country. Just, I can't say thank you enough to all of them and all their support. It means the absolute world, and we wouldn't be here without them today. Even, even when we were over in Paris, we could feel their support all the way over there, and it was, it was pretty incredible. The 17-year-old earned four medals in Paris, including three gold and set two Olympic records. From the Canadian Press, I'm Naira Ahmed. Thanks for listening. Don't forget to follow and subscribe. For more of today's top stories, visit thecanadianpressnews.ca.